Don't believe, just know. Cymatic TV, turning vibration into reality. Hello, Instaland. Or is it Instagram land? I don't know. Who cares? Um, yeah, Tom here from Cymatic TV and also from The Astro Flower. This is going to be a continued uh, video on the video I did last night on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, go over to YouTube and uh, have a look for Cymatic TV. You'll find it in there. I'm mostly going to be doing an energy update. There is a Corona hole coming through. We'll be talking about that later on. And I will be dowsing in the place I am. And there is a reason for coming out here in the middle of the night. Because is energy different when we're at night? Hmm. I suppose it must mean that it's different for different people. Because we're all different. Some of us work off day and some of us work off night and some of us work off evening and mornings and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we'll be doing a whole energy update and everything like that at the end of it, seeing what the uh, vibrations are coming in from the earth, getting the message from the earth uh, after the waffle about energy. So, energy uh, and if you saw the video yesterday it was so calm i was a lot calmer as you may well tell i'm a completely different person where i am at this present time simply because we were in the forest we were going from the plain energy into the forest energy the transition so this is a part of it as well and this energy that goes through each and every one of us and everything enjoys that transition it likes that transitional thing between day and night, for example, which is what we're gonna to do today. And I was saying in the video last time that energy doesn't have purpose. And I came to the conclusion that, many years ago, but I came to the conclusion that energy doesn't have an agenda. That is the big difference. It's not a purpose, that was a wrong choice of word. I even use it in the title, does energy have a, have a purpose? But it does, have a purpose it has one purpose one person purpose only if you think of the yin and yang as about being energy you have the female and male yin and yang positive negative etc etc polarized energies but it's actually polarized energy of the same thing so you can't separate one from the other so therefore you can't separate white and black in the yin and yang or it is no longer yin and yang right Therefore, energy doesn't really care about whether you're nice or whether you're right or wrong. What it is there for is experience. That's not its purpose. That's like, almost like the product of what it does. Okay? So this yin and yang, if you like, uh, this both sides of the energy, has to obviously exist in both sides. So it's like the day and the night. So it does have a purpose, and that purpose is very simple. It's very straightforward. And this will help us in this new paradigm. Because once we get into this type of thinking and the way we approach things, all of a sudden we'll approach it in a very natural way in accordance with energy. And that is really important. What is the purpose of energy? Equilibrium. If you give extreme sides of the energy, energy will automatically seek the balancing point. But within those extremes, that's where the experience can happen. So how does this help with us thinking? If you want to see this video in full on Insta, uh, from, from all the people on Instagram, you're going to have to go over to YouTube and go and watch it on Cymatic TV. Sorry, bit of a bind. It's just the way it goes. I will see you over there. There is a timestamp on the video and I will see you over there uh, and you'll see the rest of this video. Okay, so welcome all you Instagrammers. So we were talking about sort of the equilibrium of energy <clears throat> and how it looks for that equilibrium. And within those extremes, the experiences can happen. But actually, energy will prefer it when there is more balance and harmony. Well, I guess even that's not even true. 
The reason it's not true, it's a bit like a river. When it's flowing straight, it will search to meander, to explore. And energy does the same sort of thing. The most efficient way for energy is like a wave formation. And when we dial the ley lines between one and the other, we get that meandering river that goes from one place to another. That's what energy is all about. So it seeks equilibrium. How does this affect us in our world? Well, it's pretty simple. If you give extreme views, you will only be confronted by extreme opposite views. Okay? So, let's take something very simple. Black and white. The yin and yang. I hear a lot of people sort of talking about, you know, people are evil and that they're trying to use energy in the bad way and that they're, we're fighting against the dark side. If you're fighting against the dark side, does that mean you eventually become the dark side and then we have to fight against you? Or, you know, it's, I think the best way to stop fighting is probably from one side, just kind of say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't be asking, I'm going to have some fun. <laughs> Why would you want to fight? Energy doesn't really lend itself in that way. It rends itself into which is the most logical expression of that experience. I don't know if you've ever seen a film called Hero. It's a martial art film, and you should go and watch the rain scene. So if you put in YouTube, Hero, H-E-R-O, and go and watch the rain sequence, you may understand what I mean about energy. And it is fulfilling that energy. This is why it's so important for each one of us to live life. And live your life fully. Don't necessarily, I don't have to agree with what you do. That is almost important that you live your life fully. And if I don't agree with it, energy is going to explore even more. But once you start connecting with energy, you'll find that a lot of our experiences overlap and actually have a lot of coherence together. Once you start thinking like energy, a lot of things in the human matrix, the human paradigm, and all of that malarkey and all of that show and glitz around the media about any event that goes out there, you'll realise that that's just extremes. And yeah, the human race does need to experience. But do we need to experience war again, for example? I don't think we do. Ah, oh, where I am at the moment, We've got enough reminders of what that sort of war was about. For some strange reason, humans started killing each other in the, by millions. What was that all about? Okay, so it was a good experience. Done it, understood it, move on. And this is why we'll find that actually the memes that are put upon the human race, by the human race, mm, by humans, um, will actually become smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller till we get to a point where there will be no effect upon us. And we will be standing up and looking at else things, other things. By that time, you'll realise you're in the new paradigm. And if you're not thinking like energy thinks, you're going to find it difficult. You're going to find it difficult. And no one can help you with it. The only person that can help you is yourself. I'm just showing you doorways i'm not telling you what to do and i'm not telling you to go through any of those doorways you might find the doorway by yourself all very well and good I like that love it auto detect it's very good but we've got to stop thinking like energy and we've got to stop thinking that we can control energy against another person no you can't stop it Gee whiz. It's like, for example, another example is people say, it's my heart that's connected to the universal vibration. Now that is so dangerous. That is so, so dangerous. Do not think that your heart is just pure. 
because it is the yin and yang, it has both sides. The heart produces jealousy as much as it produces love. They go, we went over to the dark side. But it's all of the one of the same thing. I didn't go over to the dark side. The human matrix did. That's the human matrix, it's not nature. So once you start thinking about this, right, your heart is your heart. Yes, it's very important. If you took your heart out of your body, yes, you would not live. If you took your stomach out of your body, you would not live. If you took your liver out, you would not live. If you took your throat out, you would not live. Ah, uh, maybe, uh, maybe. Lungs, no, you wouldn't live. Uh, head, no. Nah. Everything is important within its place. So you wouldn't make an important place the connection to everything because that would give it dominion over everything else. How was it? How? Why would nature do that? Why would energy do that? It would have an agenda then in that case. <gasps> oh, so people, it's not just about the heart, it's about everything together. That's what we call consciousness. Full consciousness, where all of a sudden you can connect everything from your toe to your head in just pure energy. And once you start thinking in pure energy, it becomes a lot easier. So take yourself out of the extremes for a while, regardless of which side of the fence you're sitting on, and wander off in your own energy. So energy does have a purpose. It searches equilibrium, balance. I wonder if you've guessed where I am. You might have done, obviously, when I showed you those wreaths earlier on. But let me just have a look behind us. It's a lovely church. Can you see that? Let me just see if you can. I don't know if you can. It's a beautiful place. Very small lines though, but size isn't everything. And that's another thing with energy. Energy doesn't care about size. That has not anything to do with it. Energy cares about the quality of vibration. And that may, could be the yin and yang. So it is the quality of what some people might term as bad and good vibrations. Look a bit like a ghost now, don't I? Eh? <laughs> oh, look, you can see the church there just behind me, but it's Saxon Tower. So we're just coming up here because I just want to get onto the lady line. And I'm wondering how good the light is from there. Hmm. So there you go, there's my little waffle on energy. What's been going on with the sun? Well, the sun has quietened down a bit. It's chilled out. We're still getting much more the filament vibrations than anything else. I think there was a little C flare that went off earlier on. Not sure if it was in our direction. Those M flares certainly weren't going in our direction. But um, we've had coronal holes coming through. So all you people on the Astro Flower who's been watching your, your readings, on the tarot readings, go and have a look at your flower, see which petal it's affecting, and then go and have a look and see which tarot card it's touching. It will help you to understand which is the most important part or aspect of your reading for this week. And that's what it'll do. So that coronal hole is not through yet, and we are now Tuesday evening. Um, I would have thought it would be through very soon, so you'll see this in the vibrations, in the speed, the density and the heat of the solar stream. You can see this if you go to solarham.net or .org or .com, I forgot what it is, solar ham as in ham as in ham, cheese and ham, you know, ham radio, okay, so solar ham, okay. 
and you'll see when everything moves up you'll get certain densities that go up first and then then the speed ramps up afterwards and etc um, as suspicious absorbers uh, described it it's like shoveling snow so you get the build up of snow at the end of the shovel and then you get into the flow so let's just have a look and see i went through this earlier on you might hear the cars we're down busy road we're near a busy road there you go you've got the connection directly to it it's still going through so i've joined it in the middle of the sequence by the looks of it coming back round. And there we go. So there we are off and running. Root. Root. That could, it feels like yesterday. Root's going through. And then the throat. Here comes the throat. And then the sacrum is coming through. A little bit tight on the sacrum, to be honest. And then up to the crown. A little bit on the solar plexus. And then a little bit on the sacrum and the heart at the same time. That sacrum is a bit dodgy. So I would be worried, I would be very, I'd be wary. And then it goes back through there. I'm back on the route again. So, um, that sacrum seems to be the telling story at the moment. Let me just go and, oh, we've, we've lost light. Does it really matter? I don't mind. I can see perfectly well. You guys can't play, unfortunately. I don't know if you can see the tombs that are around here. That's it, beautiful. I'm just wandering off the line just to stick this light on again. Because it's modern technology demanding, as it were. Come on then. Thank you very much. <laughs> So, I would, in a way, uh, be wary of, uh, and this is not on an individual basis, because uh, it's more on a collective basis, I'd be wary of um, groups of people within power pushing uh, their own desires. I want this, I would like this to happen. So if you hear that sort of language, I want this, I want that, or we want this, or we want this, and we want that. And this can come from both sides and all sides at the moment, because it's pretty hectic out there, isn't it? Um, but I think it would, it would it just, just take a step back. It doesn't mean they're wrong or anything like that. It just means you need to take a step back and look at it clearly. That's what you need to do. You know I mean? Let me show you these tunes. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see them? That's quite nice. We'd go dowsing energy in the middle of the night in the graveyard. <laughs> You're looking at him. Right. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but I do believe we've got the root and we've got the throat. Now, that seemed to be quite a strange connection because it's not really connected that much often. And I think it's expressing your, your inner feeling, your gut feeling. No, no, not your gut feeling, your... Your nature feeling, your you know, this is natural. If I feel, if, it, if this feels natural, then express it, say it, say this is natural. We should naturally be doing this, you know. I think it's going to create as well because people will be maybe standing up there and not saying I want this more of a case of saying I, I think I believe I feel that this is natural way for us to go it might be good to sort of like open your ear and listen to what they're saying or you know or hear it from within you um, but I think as well in general across the board uh in society in in the general public we're just feeling a little bit 
uh, between two sections of life, between two moments of life. And it will feel like, uh, I say, not the calm between the storm, but you know, being out in a calm and lull out at sea, where you can't really move anywhere and you can't do anything, unless you've got a motor, of course. But if you're just dealing with nature and winds and stuff like that, you know, you might find it difficult to move anywhere. And I think society will be, you know, like a rabbit caught, ha, caught in the lights. Yeah? So, uh, <laughs> if society looks about that, just dig down inside you, feel what's natural, feel what is naturally you should be doing. The moment you do that, you'll be able to stand up and you'll be able to help a lot of people and sort of say, hey, look, maybe naturally we should be doing this. And when you do do that, then everyone around you kind of go, yeah, great idea. Actually, I was doing nothing. I'm waiting for the next enthralling instalment from uh, the human matrix. The next person to shout at. So, hmm. Yeah. So I think Earth Energy, if you're looking at your charts on the um, Astro Flower, go and have a go over to the Astro Flower channel. You see your reading. Uh, you'll find the links to the Astro Flower flower, your particular sign. See which the Earth corresponds to. Um, I'll, I'll stop swimming in it around the camera. You're probably all sick by now. Um, yeah. So, yeah, see how it affects you, see how it affects your card and everything like that. Tomorrow, I'm going to be on moving. I'll be moving. I'll be transitioning or moving from one place to another, around about 250 miles. That's around about sort of like 300 odd kilometers. Yeah, there's more, more than four, 400 kilometers. So I'll be on, on transit tomorrow. So it might be a late one again tomorrow, but definitely be doing it tomorrow. And tomorrow, I'm going to talk about um, how energy sort of goes through your chakras and stuff like that and how it runs through your body to get a bit of mechanics on that so it help you to sort of realize you know uh help you to elucidate your the way you confront things and stuff like that uh because we're all learning i'm learning every day it's brilliant to get out there and learn so you know i hope you enjoyed it don't forget please do subscribe and click on the bells and all of that malarkey the human matrix likes it apparently so um I will see you tomorrow um, on Cymatic TV. In the meantime, don't forget, it should be fun. So please do enjoy. Don't believe, just know. Cymatic TV, turning vibration into reality.